Hello, my name is Omid Abdurrahman, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the examine uh, application, which is part of the EGS NRC uh, package. In the PEX4 data file, data for various media created by the user are stored in this single file. Uh, if we open the file, then we can find some information for the media. For example, we have here a medium called uh, H2O521 ICRU. It's a mixture. This is the density of the medium and composition of the medium. We have Z equals to 1, that's hydrogen, and its fractional weight in the medium and, and oxygen. So if we scroll down, we might get across a different, another medium. Here, for example, we have air, uh, 700 ICRU. This is the density, and these are the number of elements that make up uh, air with their uh, fractional weights. But the rest of this data uh, contains the cross-sections uh, for photons and col restricted collision stopping powers. It's difficult for us to actually see, for example, the range of cross-sections, energy range of these cross-sections or restricted stopping powers and what sort of cutoffs were used in, in uh, uh, creating the data. An easy way to actually explore all of these questions is to use the examine application. The examine application does not have a graphical user interface, but one needs to execute it from a terminal shell. So we open a terminal shell and we will go to our uh, X, uh, our home area, and there should be a directory called examine. So my advice is, uh, if you're using this for the uh, examine for the first time, you will probably need to compile it. You need to type make to compile it, and uh, there is a similar command on Windows uh, compilation on Windows, but you could also compile it from the graphical user interface by opening it and click on compile and the user code uh, go and select examine and then hit on on go here it will compile it go to the directory examine and then type examine and then we need to specify our pex data so that is done by uh, dash p and then we we type in our pex data file in our case it was called phantom and uh, an optional uh, uh, if you want to actually output your data to a file so you can put, use the option minus o and and type in uh, the file name for example suppose i want the data for for uh, water so i'm going to uh, uh, output the data into a water file so now we launch it this is the list of uh, medium we have. So, for example, we, we the first thing is we need to type in which uh, medium we, we want to explore or examine. So we want to do this for H2O521 ICRU. Remember, this is just titles for, for the medium. It's very uh, possible that one has generated the data file for incorrect uh, cutoffs uh, like uh, AE, uh, or AP uh, and so on. So that's why it's good to actually examine uh, uh, recent files that uh, one has created and added to their PEX data file. So at that, then we enter. Then we want to explore data for photons and electrons. So we'll type zero. If you want just for electrons, then it's one for photons two. Then zero, I want both. Then uh, here you can, uh, this is not a problem. This uh, uh, basically what sort of cross sections you want to explore. It uh, doesn't matter, you can use the default. Should you want, want to include a rate scattering? So let's put one, okay. And then the rest just use the default. And uh, uh, here, print out, do you want absolute cross sections or relative cross sections? So for example, relative cross sections would be 
the mass attenuation coefficient for let's say photoelectric effect divided by the total mass cross section so we will use absolute and then tables or tables and then here is the output so the output you have uh, four options terminal is basically you want the output to be listed uh, on the terminal shell disk file if you want to save it it will save it with the uh, file name as a, a specified uh, um, uh, h2o521 icru with the option minus o uh, terminal plus plot or disk uh, and plot let's do terminal and plot so we'll do two option two so now on the terminal it has actually uh, uh, populated uh, the data cross-sectional data and uh, so let me just open this window okay so this is the output it hatched actually the data from from pex4 file and this is what we I usually look for I know the medium was created uh, with the AE of uh, 0.5 to 1 so this is the range of the kinetic energies should be from 10 keV up to uh, AE which was uh, 20 uh, MeV again for photons this is the range of data available in, in the PEX file for that medium from 10 keV up to 20 MeV and these are the uh, just tab, tab, uh, data so this is the photon energy in MeV and here you, you can uh, see that it has really data and these are the cross sections for photoelectric Compton uh, pair and I think this is the total uh, cross-section and this is the linear uh, attenuation uh, coefficient. So if we go down, this is now the data for the strictly stopping powers. Uh, this is the kinetic energy of the electron or positron. This is uh, uh, the restricted stopping powers for uh, electrons and uh, this one is for uh, uh, positrons. So uh, if we want to plot the data, for example, uh, let's plot the data uh, for photons. So we'll put zero. Then, so let's put the mean free path. Okay. Then it should launch uh, immediately. Uh, it should launch immediately uh, uh, XM grace and plot uh, the data. The only disadvantage, uh, in my opinion, for examine uh, application is that it does not show you uh, the composition of, of the medium. You would still need to open the PEGS uh, for data file and scroll and locate uh, that section uh, of uh, the medium of interest and look at the data, the, uh, the header, uh, the density used and the composition and so on. So if you like uh, this uh, video, please uh, show this by clicking on the like button. Uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, and uh, click on the bell uh, to get notified uh, with new uh, future uh, videos. Thank you very much.